What do you want me to do? You want me to video? Okay, 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 sure. Then we need to work our way outside. Yeah, we're good. I'm doing one for you also, oh, Jim. Okay, well then just do it. That's fine. I'm just doing a quick video so that they can review it again tonight when they get home. Because otherwise they'll want to come back and see it two or three more times. So this will actually give us an ability for them to remember what they saw. Do you have a card? I have one in the truck, absolutely. I'll give you one before I leave. I really like this house. I love the way that the whole back side of that house is glass. That is so yeah. attractive. Yeah, it's been a nice uh, work. It's a nice little nook right here. There's the loft. Going into the main room. This is going to be the dining room. The dining room has a tray ceiling with recessed lighting. Currently, the chandelier is cinched up, meaning that the chains are tied together so that you can walk under it. That's because she has her piano here. But if you had a dining room table here, you would release those chains and drop that light down about another two feet above the table. And then the ceiling goes from the regular nine foot ceilings to the vaulted ceiling. And then to the right, you've got a wall that could potentially be all bookshelves. And then it goes to the wet bar, which goes into the kitchen. You've got this other wall behind the dining room table that could be another wall that could be all built-in shelves to take the place of a buffet or a serving table that you would normally have. The those are both sliding glass doors that go out onto the deck and the patio. And then those are encasement windows behind the wall that goes out to just the yard. And then the wet bar has glass, double-sided doored cabinets, the wet bar sink, the eat-in kitchen, the glass encasement window that goes out to the sunroom slash room that could be screen room. Pretty large eat-in kitchen area that has a large encasement window looking out over the water. Bar with room for about five bar stools. Wet bar. 
cabinets. Downdraft, gas, cooktop, wall oven, built-in microwave, and it looks like the microwave is also a convection oven. And the wall oven is also a convection wall oven. And then we already discovered that that was a Sub-Zero with a built-in ice maker a Bosch dishwasher. The kitchen sink has an Instapot hot water provider spigot, as well as a three-stage water filtration system. Foyer with a cathedral ceiling. hallway to the laundry room, pedestal, washer and dryer, large cabinets, another sink, panel, master bedroom, beautiful turquoise colored sinks, Soaking tub, skylight, floor to ceiling, marble, grab bar, and toilet area, which you could put a door on that opening to create a water closet. Walk in closet, lots of shelving. Cedar. Master bedroom, recess lighting, ceiling fan, and lighting on both sides of the bed. And that's a tiny bed for such a big room. French doors going out to the sunroom again. Again, encasement windows. These windows are not encasement windows. These open and have screens. And then just to show the stairway, this is a dark wood stair tread, goes up to the loft area, and the loft area is encased with shelves, which really reduces the size of the loft area, but this provides a great little library. And then the same dark wood floors up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just this one. Nice walk in closet, which may end up being Jim's. And a shower with a place to sit. And uh, Jim really likes the decorative painting on the tile. One of his favorite things. The view of the walking path from the upstairs window. The view of the golf course from the upstairs window. And then the railing 
has encasement shelves all the way across the bottom as well. This is the sidewalk going out, and then the exterior front porch area, and the um, the the picture window from the front bedroom slash guest bedroom slash office. Since that is a downstairs bedroom with a ensuite bathroom. You may use that as the guest bedroom, or you may use the upstairs bedroom as a guest bedroom. The sidewalks are lined with brick soldiers and a uh, brick liner around the outside edges, which is really nice with a tabby stucco oyster shell in the concrete. And you are definitely in a patio lot, but because it's on a cul-de-sac, it kind of octagons out where you don't feel like you're right up next to your neighbors. And then the cul-de-sac has a neat little couple of trees in the middle. And then there is the walking path. Which there was a golf cart in the garage, which was calling your name. It's a nice dark neutral color too. Beautiful tree in the front, which I don't think that's an oak tree. Is that an elm? That's oh, got to be an oak. And then all of these need to be trimmed down and stubbed on the side of the house. I think those are supposed to be pruned about once every two years, if not every year, usually in the spring. And you get all this growth that provides privacy. And then there's this great little bridge with this attractive rope railing and there's your exterior backyard lots of turtles man you get a lot of turtles I didn't see the sign that said Turtle Crossing. We'll have to figure out where that's at. This probably could be trimmed up a little bit. Although it does provide just a little bit of blockage from that house across the, across the uh, lagoon. There's another bird. What's he doing here? He's probably the one that's been pooping on the window. It's a blue house. Call that the house of blue. Oh, they have a nice screen enclosed area there. 
And there's the separation between the two houses. You might could even take a, and put a little sitting area right here at the bottom of this tree. Enjoy that shade. And then you just sit here and watch people get really angry when they're hitting golf balls. More later.